hello and welcome back to the channel in today's tutorial i'll be sharing with you a requested video of how to cut a stylish altar neck dress with a corset or an inbuilt corset underneath it so if this is something you like please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up so let's dive right into today's video so first here is my pattern and i've gone ahead to mark out my basic measurement which includes my shoulder to bust shoulder to under bust shoulder to waistline and five inches to get to my top length so after that i'm going to go ahead to mark my shoulder divided by two so my shoulder is 14 inches divided by two i have seven i will come down by one inch and i'm going to be drawing my shoulder slope at that point so after i'm done drawing that i'm going to mark my basic neckline of three by three inches and i'm just going to go ahead to draw this out placing my curve too after i'm done drawing this the next step is to go ahead to find your chest line or your armhole and to do that is your bust circumference divided by six plus 1.5 inches mine is seven i'll mark and i'm going to go ahead to also mark what i have at the shoulder at the chest line then go ahead to connect this is to make sure that i have a straight line on my chest line so i'll just go ahead to draw out my chest line after that to draw my armhole curve i'm going to be dividing my armhole into two this way fold my tape and mark and i'll be coming in by half inch now at the lower part i'll go ahead to mark my bust circumference divided by four i'm going to go ahead to connect from that point to the half inch i have at the armhole and to the upper part of my shoulder this way now is to draw my nipple to nipple divided by two and my nipple to nipple is seven inches divided by two i have 3.5 inches now i'm going to take this measurement all the way down to the top length of my pattern and i'm going to go ahead to connect it drawing a straight line with all those marks after i'm done doing that i'll be taking my dart intake for my dart intake, I'll be marking one inch on both sides of my pattern. Now, if you're a plus size or you're a bit busty, you are going to be using 1.5 inches for this part. So you're just going to go ahead to use your ruler and you're going to connect during a straight line. So I'll go ahead to use my marker to make this more visible for you to see. Now, I'll be connecting from my bust down to the under bust and i will also repeat this at the other side of my pattern this way so i went ahead to use my marker to mark that out and now i'll be dividing my shoulder sorry my armhole into two i'll mark so from that point i'll connect it down to my bust point this way i'll go ahead and mark half inch on both sides of that line that i marked at the armhole and i'm just going to go ahead to connect this all the way down to the main or initial line so after i'm done marking out i'll go ahead and i will use my marker to outline my pattern this way so that that intake i have on both sides which is half half inch i'm making it one inch i'll extend it to the armhole and redraw my armhole curve so why i did this is that most times when you're joining a princess that the center part is a bit longer than the side so at the neckline i came down by one inch and i will be connecting it to my chest line this way so yeah i've gone ahead to draw out the outer neckline of this dress and i'm just going to use my marker to mark this out Next step, I'm going to go ahead to insert my body measurement. I'll mark my bust circumference divided by four. And this one inch that intake, I'll add it back and add my half inch sewing allowance. Mark my under bust circumference, measure the that intake and replace, add my sewing allowance. Measure the waist circumference divided by four. Measure the that intake and add back my sewing allowance at the top length i'll measure the hip side conference divided by four measure the two inches that intake and add half inch for sewing allowance after that i'm going to connect from the under bust to the upper part of my pattern and i will connect it 
to the waistline and down to the top length so now i'll draw out the keyhole neckline on this part so i went ahead to sketch it out a bit so from the upper part of my pattern i'll just go ahead to connect this and from the under bust i came down by one inch after the under bust pattern i'll just go ahead to draw this out so next if you're using this as an inbuilt corset you're going to be going up by two inches from your waistline and you're going to connect it to the top length so to create the basque effect if it's an inbuilt corset you're just going to use your skirt pattern to cut that out and place it on it so i have a video of how to sew an inbuilt corset you can also check that out it will be more explanatory there but to just create this basque effect i have on this pattern i'm just going to draw out my waistline and then connect it to the top the top length at the lower part this way and make sure you blend in your darts so at the upper part of this pattern you want to decide whether you want two inches or one inch for the upper part like the collar so also remember that this is an outer neck and it extends to the back so what you'll be doing is when you cut this out you'll be adding like extra three inches on both sides of this pattern at the neckline so i'll just go ahead and i will cut out my pattern before we head over to cutting the corset underneath the dress so while cutting at the armhole i added little half inch and i cut my pattern on food and this is what i have after i'm done cutting out now moving over to the corset part of this pattern i've gone ahead to mark my basic measurement just like we did initially and now i'll just head over to marking my nipple to nipple divided by two so after i'm done marking my nipple to nipple divided by two i'm going to go ahead to draw out a straight line connecting also to the top length then i will just go ahead to mark my that intake of one inch so if you're a plus size or your curvy you're also going to be using 1.5 inches on this point so i'll just go ahead to connect this all the way down and I'll place my curve drew and I'll connect from the bust to the under bust and I'll go ahead to use my marker to mark this out and after that I'll be marking 1.5 inches from the chest line and I'll go ahead to draw a straight line and I'll connect back my nipple to nipple divided by two. After that I'll just go ahead to mark my dart intake on both sides of this pattern and I'll just go ahead to connect from the bust to that point or from that point on top to the bust also so the next step is to go in by half inch and i will connect so this is a plunging neckline and we'll be cutting the deep neckline after i'm done cutting out the basic corset pattern so i connected to my under bust marked my nipple to nipple divided by two added half inch and i connected my cup to the other side after I'm done connecting on this side, I'm going to bring my pattern for the outer neck and I'm going to place it on it. So whatever you're tracing out on top at your cup, you know, a seed on top of your princess dart pattern. And I'll be using that as a guide to draw out this cup on this part. So I'll go ahead and use my marker to outline this to make it more visible for you to see. So after I'm done outlining this part, I'm going to go ahead to insert my body measurement. I'm going to mark my bust circumference divided by 4, measure the dart intake and add half inch for my sewing allowance. So I'm going to be introducing the pattern at the front. The reason why I'm doing this is to make sure that the sides of the outer neck matches with the sides of the corset also so i'm just going to go ahead place and trace out and i'll go ahead to insert my hip side conference at the lower part measure the dart intake replace and add my sewing allowance now i'll just go ahead and connect after i'm done connecting this pattern i'll just go up by two inches and i will connect to the lower part just as if your sewing an inbuilt corset so this corset rather is an inbuilt corset so i'll also be sharing a way to also sew it like a bust 
corset just like we did for the front part if you don't want to show it as an inbuilt corset so i placed the front pattern and i traced out the shape i have there and then i will be placing this uh, on it together this is to make sure that you maintain the sh same shape on the outer neck that you have on the corset also but if you're making this as an inbuilt corset you're just going to take out two inches from the waistline and after you're done cutting you're going to be using your skirt to do that that is to trace out the part you don't want on your skirt and place and sew on the dress so i don't know if you understand i said earlier i have a video on how to sew an inbuilt corset you can just go ahead to check that out on the channel it will be more explanatory this is a requested video on how to actually draft this pattern or an illustration on how to cut out this pattern so for this particular pattern you're going to be creating a deep plunging neckline which we also end one inch after your under bust just like we have for just like we had in the outer neck pattern that went down by one inch after the after the under bust pattern so i'll just go ahead to draw this out and i will cut it out before cutting this out i'm going to also place this pattern and make sure that i take the shape that i have there now i'll be cutting out my cup tracing out the cup part a little and i'll just go ahead to cut out the plunging neckline for the corset so now i'm not going to cut out my cup i'll leave it this way so i want to explain to you as if I've already sewn the corset so after you're done sewing the corset let's just say you're done sewing your corset pattern this way you're going to be taking your outer neck pattern like your outer neck dress parts with the collar that you have attached on top and you're going to place it on it this way on your pattern on your dress and me looking at this you notice that there's a corset underneath this very dress and you're going to do a fabric placement of on it that is taking the outer neck pattern and you place on your corset but you're going to be doing this after you're done joining your corset pattern and after you're done joining your outer neck pattern so you're going to take both of them and you're going to place the outer neck on top of it then you're going to be using your appliques to design the keyhole side and also tack the outer neck on the body like you're doing a lace placement or fabric placement on top of the corset pattern so i don't know if you understand but if you have any question please leave it at the comment section so now we'll head over to cutting out the back pattern and for the back pattern i've gone ahead to mark out my basic measurement so i'll just go ahead to mark my nipple to nipple divided by two draw my mark my that of half intake of on both sides and i'm going to connect go ahead to extend this all the way up and also repeat this at the other side so i'll be inserting my body measurement i'll go ahead and mark my bust side conference divided by four and add my sewing allowance here i'll also mark the waist side conference divided by four add the sewing allowance and replace the that intake at the top length i'll mark my hip side conference divided by four and add my sewing allowance go ahead to connect this pattern all the way to the lower part and all the way to the hip point after you're done doing this you're just going to go ahead to divide this just to create a style line if you want to snatch your waistline you can go ahead to do this but i'm leaving this pattern basic so i'm going to go ahead and come down by won't come in by 1.5 inches for the lacing bar area and i'm just going to go ahead to connect this all the way up and take this to the lower part now i'll be creating the eyelet points i'll just make a mark to indicate the eyelets come down by half inch and i'll go ahead to connect all the way up this way and for the lower part to leave this as an inbuilt corset you're just going to go up by two inches or if you just want to cut it as a basic basque corset you're just going to go ahead to 
go ahead to cut it from the waistline so i'll just go ahead and i'll cut out this pattern and then take out the that intake and slash the style line so i marked one inch at the lower part i'll go up again by one inch and i will cut out so heading to the back pattern i'll go ahead place my tape mark my shoulder to elbow line and then i'll go ahead to mark my shoulder to wrist point after that i'll draw a line at those points after that i'll come down by five inches from my shoulder point and i'm going to be drawing a line at that point this is where my sleeve will start so if you notice the sleeve started above the chest line my chest line is seven inches so to mark this point i'm going to go ahead to measure what i have round my arm at that point after measuring what i have is eight inches i will divide it into two and i will mark four inches add half to it then on that line i'll be marking my my armhole circumference which is eight inches sorry which is 16 inches divided by two i have eight so i'll go ahead to mark eight inches at that point so after that i'll go ahead to place my tape and mark my shoulder to chest line which is seven inches and i will draw a line on this point so this is actually a freehand method of cutting out an off shoulder sleeve so i'll just connect from that my four inches or four and a half adding i'll go ahead and add back the half inch for joining allowance and i'm going to be connecting it and i will be stopping where my armhole circumference stops at the pattern so you can go ahead and add your sewing allowance to this pattern at the elbow i'll mark my elbow circumference divided by two and add half inch at the wrist i'll mark my wrist circumference divided by by two and i'll add half inch and i'll just go ahead to connect this all the way down so now from here you can decide how wide you want your sleeve to be i marked six inches to connect so i'm just going to go ahead to cut out this pattern but before that i'll just add half inch on top which will serve as a turn up or joining allowance so i'll just cut out the rest of my pattern and for the lower part of my sleeve that design on to make it. your sleeve stand you're going to be attaching a boning to that part so with this we have come to the end of